Inkem Ofonaba is here. She is a purpose-driven woman on a mission to help busy professionals and entrepreneurs to achieve work-life harmony. And she is a graduate of psychology with a special executive management program MBA from Metropolitan School of Business and Management UK. Now, Inkem is a trained life coach as well and uh, a neuro-linguistic programming professional. Uh, today, she joins us on Motivation to talk about the five ways to master emotional intelligence for life and career success. So great to have you here, Inkem. Thank you, Mary. All right. So, you know, when you talk about skills, the first skill that comes up is intelligence quota. And mm -hmm. everybody focuses so much on that. What's your IQ? You don't have a great IQ. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's your quota with that? Uh, but then when you talk about emotional intelligence, what exactly is it about? Okay, uh, I will say IQ is very important, but um, emotional intelligence, that's your EQ, it's quite important for career business success. And it's just the ability to, first of all, identify, okay. use, and um, manage or regulate your emotions okay. in such a way that you are able to relate appropriately with people, communicate effectively, resolve conflict, and thrive in your relationships so that you are able to achieve your goals. I could have sworn that sounds like project <laughs> management. <laughs> so life is like a project you have to manage, Of course, really. oh, of wow. course. Okay, so now let, let's talk about the importance of having a great EI, like that emotional mm -hmm. intelligence thing. What's the importance? Okay, the first and the most important thing is for you to, first of all, master yourself. Okay. your own emotion. So it's very important. Okay. Because if you are not able to master your emotions, you won't be able to understand other people's emotion and relate properly. So the first thing is self-awareness, being able to, you know, aware of yourself, your personality, your emotions, your thoughts. When you are able to understand what it is and be able to control it so you have a full grasp of yourself, your identity and all, then you will be able to understand the cues, the emotional cues from other people. So the second thing here is for you to be able to manage relationships. Okay. So it's very critical. Manage yourself, manage relationships. Relationship. Okay. And also manage, um, be able to motivate others. Do you understand? Because if you are a leader and you, you are not emotionally intelligent, it will be difficult for you to motivate others. Hmm. It will be difficult for you to communicate effectively with others. So that's another reason why emotional intelligence is possible. Emotional intelligence is possible for you to be able to achieve your goals. Okay. Because if you're not able to manage emotions, both yours and other people's own, it's difficult for people to collaborate with you, yeah. right? And you can't do it all by yourself. You need interactions of people to be able to achieve your goals. So. All right. So I'm, I'm glad we've established that. Now let's talk about mastering it. That was yes. the first you mentioned. Exactly. So how then do you master your emotional intelligence? Okay, there are five ways. Okay. So the first one is self-awareness. Self-awareness. Okay. Yes. So self-awareness, it's just you being able to understand what exactly are your thoughts. Okay. Be able to reconnect with your thoughts, your feelings. And you can't do this if you are not uh, in a state of mindfulness. So you state always have to be in a state of mindfulness to understand exactly how you feel, how your thought process work. So that is the first critical one. Then the second one talks about, so aside self-awareness, the second one talks about self-regulation. Self-regulation. So when the first one, you're able to understand what your emotional state is, then you will be able to regulate it. So in situations of anger, in situations of disappointment, how do you control your emotion so that you don't um, destroy relationships? So the second one is self-regulation. Mm -hmm. Then the third one is actually motivation. Because a lot of times when we have stress around us, it's easy for people to get discouraged. It's easy for people to lose the steam. And it's also, yeah, lash out at others. Exactly. Yeah. So motivation is very critical. And for you to stay motivated all the time, you need to understand the reason why you do the things you do mm. and what outcomes do you expect. Mm. So your why is very important for you to stay motivated at all times. Okay. Then the... Fourth one, I would say, is about empathy. 
Empathy. Okay. Very, very critical. Okay. So empathy talks about putting yourself in another person's shoes. So mm. before you take a decision with another person, maybe in a relationship or maybe you want to... Whatever it is. Whatever it is, with. put yourself in another person's shoes. Okay. How will you feel if someone treats you this way? So you should be able to, first of all, listen to people okay. and understand, just get cues from their body language, all of that, so that you can be able to take the right decision. That mm -hmm. is to so your own benefit and the benefit of the other party. Okay. And then finally, it's about relationship, your social skills. How do you manage relationships? How do you communicate effectively to be able to achieve your goals? So all these are very important. Few people realize <laughs> that emotional intelligence also has to do with communication in relationships. Because well, you need to study the person's moods. Of course, both the verbal things. and the non-verbal yeah. cues. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So <laughs> let's run through those five uh, keys again. So self the first one is self-awareness. Yeah. The second one is self-regulation or self-management. Self okay. And the third one is self-motivation. Okay. The fourth one has to do with empathy. Empathy. And the fifth one has to do with your social skills. So the, if you're able to manage all of these, they seem so simple, mm -hmm. but they actually kind of complicated. If you're able to manage all of these, you are more or less a master of emotional intelligence. Absolutely. So we keep hearing about IQ, just as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So what level would you say an average EI should be? If you want to call yourself a master of your own emotions, mm -hmm. what level should your emotional intelligence be? I wouldn't say per se what it should be, but as much as you are working on your IQ, you should also work on your EQ. So you make sure it's running concurrently. Exactly. Uh -huh. They have to support each other. Uh -huh. So that, 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 that goes a long way to show that for you to be <laughs> successful in life mm -hmm. and in your career, it is important for you to master your emotional intelligence.